Hi guys, it's Jay again from Ayaba's Wind. I am back to t do your reading um, for August 2021. Um, this is going to be called the Summer Gumbo, Summer Tarot Gumbo, because I'm going to be reading from an assortment of oracle cards that I've created. Um, so it's going to be a little different from my typical readings. This will be for the sign of Sagittarius. I had some requests from um, some of um, my Ayaba's win, um, Ayaba's win subs. So, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, just give me a couple of minutes to do the, um, the shuffle and then I will start the commentary. If you like what I'm doing, please like my video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. You are so welcome into Ayaba's win family. And if you would like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Um, so let's get started. Just give me a couple seconds. Okay, so just keep in mind, guys, the first card kind of um, sets the tone for the reading. All right, and let's see what Spirit has to say. You guys know that I do not like the sound of shuffling, um, although I know it comes with the territory. So I'm gonna try and get through this really quickly, try to make this shorter than the um, typical love tarot pop-ups that I do. Hold on just a second. We have our time frame. First time frame. Ooh. Okay, the cards are all over the place. Hold on just a second. Okay. We have another time frame. Guys, there's, you know, in the cards that I'm seeing, there is like a lot of worry, <laughs> a lot of worryation. Um, and so, you know, it's definitely important for you to wear a lot of white and also do your white baths to kind of calm that, okay? Because I'm seeing a lot of cards dealing with worry, worry and concern. And just keep in mind, this is a general reading. So it, things could have hap taken place in the recent past. It could be happening now, or it could happen in the near future. And this reading can cover the next several days to several weeks to several months, okay? And there's also some challenges with money. There's some stuff going on with money, all right? And spirit is just making note of that. All right, so we're gonna stop with that deck. Um, and let's get started. So the first card that opened up is overindulgence in alcohol, drugs, and or sex, food or sex. So someone is definitely overindulging, overindulging, or you have to be careful of of um, uh, of just overdoing it with these substances. Okay, because spirit is warning you that something could happen. There could be an imbalance in your health. You know, this could um, lower your, your inhibitions and you can do something that you will regret, regret, okay? But there's new love on the horizon, which is great news. So if the new love isn't already here, it will be soon coming. Now, as to whether it's like you rekindling a love from the past and it starts anew again, or if this is someone that's totally new on the scene that you, you don't have any history with. We have yet to see that, but I'm with you just for money and what you can do for me. Okay. So just keep in mind, like these energies can be exchanged between you and your special person. Keep in mind, I'm referring to people in the love story, which is you, your special person, AKA your divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever you're into. If you want to call them your soulmate, your um, twin flame, whatever you're into. <laughs> I know there's a lot of politics around that and I'm not trying to get into that. Um, but it's their special person. And then there's karmics. These are people that you may be dating currently. 
they're, that you're with them to learn a lesson or two or three. And once you learn those lessons, then you move on. Sometimes you even marry your karmics thinking that they're the one for you. You have kids with them, but they're really not. Like you're with them to learn a lesson. And then once you learn those lessons, um, then you eventually leave and you go into harmonious union with your special person. But sometimes that does not happen um, because people have not learned their lessons because egos get in the way um, or that there's spell work that's done. You know, people, you know, putting evil eyes and curses and black magic and all this stuff. So, yeah. All right. Um, so worry and anxiety. So it, it would be in your best interest to meditate, to pray, to wear a lot of white, to do your white spiritual baths that I have listed in the um, description. Um, so please start to do that because you're not supposed to be living in a state of worry, okay? That's that's not good for your health. That's not good for your well-being, okay? Um, a love from the past returns, okay? So we know that there's going to be people returning, okay? I'm not sure if we're in retrograde or not, but we're, we're certainly in a full moon. All right. And so you may experience some strange phenomena. <laughs> you may get inundated with people from the past. OK, you know, you may, you know, be ultra sensitive to spirits um, in your environment. OK, it's going to be charged up. You may feel a bit emotional as well. OK, so <clears throat> after love from the past returns, you have several weeks. Okay, so several several weeks puts us roughly <clears throat> roughly at the end of September into October. So something, if it hasn't already happened and my head is tingling, something significant is going to happen between now and the beginning of October, okay? Could be a pregnancy, it could be someone giving birth, it could be a wedding announcement, an engagement, um, a breakup. Uh, maybe someone crossing over into the ancestor realm, something is going to go down, okay? And we have yet to see what that is. A special person wants a long-term commitment with you, okay? So several weeks. So you may, someone may profess their love um, to you in the next several weeks, okay? Because it, the card that follows after several weeks is a special person. So there is someone that there's a special connection with this person, whether you know it or not, that they're going to come forward and profess their love, okay? Or that they're, they're deep um, feelings for you. Um, Spirit is saying that this relationship is over, okay? So I don't know if it's a relationship that you were holding on to, um, or it could be that there's a relationship that your special person is in, that their relationship with a karmic is ending, and they may soon be coming into union with you, okay? This could be the person from the past that could be coming into union with you, all right? But I'm having an affair with someone. Okay, so maybe this relationship ended because someone was stepping out, all right? Uh, but nevertheless, someone, there is a third party situation. There's a side guy, a side girl, side boo, somewhere in the situation. And this prompted uh, a relationship to end, all right? And I want to marry you. OK, so, you know, someone is really having some deep emotions for you or you could be having deep emotions for this, you know, this special person um, that you're watching this reading about. OK, to the point of you really want to commit to them or they really want to commit to you. Money card to the bank. OK, so this could be that money could be a little tight. <laughs> OK, and you keep, you know, charging, charging, swiping your card or whatever it is, doing electronic transactions, right? Or it could be that money is coming to you, okay? And so, you know, maybe you could be getting that tax return that is delayed for hundreds of thousands of people because they're still working on last year's tax returns. Um, or it could be maybe some kind of stimulus. I don't know if, where that's figuring in. Someone could like, you know, um, gift you with some money. Okay, but there could be money coming in. All right, springtime. So spring is significant. Spring is March, April, May. So either something happened this past spring or something is going to happen this upcoming spring. Okay, you may be blessed with a lot of money in the spring. Maybe your financial outlook will be better in the spring. Or aside from that, 
one of those major events that I mentioned about either pregnancy and engagement, uh, you know, uh, someone crossing over, someone getting pregnant, something like that, that could happen in the spring, in this upcoming spring, 2022. Someone is up worried in bed. Okay, so here's this worry card again. That's like the, um, uh, is, there's a lot of mental anguish. So that's sort of like the Eight of Swords card if you watch traditional tarot or the Nine of Swords with this whole kind of mental, um, uh, I don't wanna say mental trauma, but it's just ongoing a mental a mental assault, okay? There's there's no, I'm hearing like, there's no rest for the weary, that that kind of thing, okay? So there is there is worry here. And so definitely meditation, you know, you can do your mantras for protection, you know, your mantras to get rid of negative feelings, you know, mantras for love, okay? Mantras for um, wealth and prosperity. Go to my playlist, it's a whole menu, okay? Um, but your ancestors and spirit guides want acknowledgement, okay? So, you know, your ancestors and spirit guides, they wanna help you, they're, they're stepping in. This is, this is why they pulled that card, okay? So, you know, definitely light up a white candle, you know, you can put down a bouquet of flowers, um, if you don't have the flowers, you do a white candle and a glass of water, a cold glass of water, okay? And just, you know, say light, peace, and progress to the spirit of, and then list the names of the people who have crossed over in your bloodline, okay? You're only, you know, saying prayers for your ancestors, people in your bloodline, all right? People who did not abuse you, neglect you, whatever it is. Um, and you're going to say light, peace, and progress. You're going to acknowledge them and just say, look, you know, I'm giving you, I'm dedicating this light to you, this candle, I'm dedicating this glass of water to you. I thank you for being in my life. Please help me out here. I'm going through A, B, C, and D. You know, um, Uncle Richie, I know you were really good with running businesses. You know, I'm trying to start my business. Please, Uncle Richie, you know, put me in alignment with the people that are going to help me to get approved for this loan, to get this, you know, commercial space so I can open, my, open up my business. You know, this is just... I'm giving you an example, okay? But spirit, your ancestors want acknowledgement. I'm seeing these flowers, <laughs> like they really want flowers. Someone wants yellow flowers, okay? Um, money is like water through a basket again. So money, money, money. Money is the source of concern. Maybe this worry is coming from the money issue, okay? But money is definitely taking place here. It's um, prominent. Happy family, okay? So someone may feel like, you know, they need money to, you know, keep everything going, keep everyone, you know, um, you know, happy, uh, keep all the bills paid, keep everything intact, okay? That's a possibility. But there's something about a happy family that someone is working towards and spirit is acknowledging, uh, acknowledging that. Um, but there's also secrets and lies, okay? So secrets and lies are somehow prominent here. You know, there may be secrets and lies within the family. People may be holding secrets. There may be things that you don't know about yet that may be revealed later on, okay? Um, and maybe the secrets and lies are as it relates to heartbreak, okay? That Three of Swords card. So let's take it a step further and let's see what Spirit has to say. This is the, the deck with the signs and you know I don't call out signs like that unless it's like overwhelming. Um, in my head. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a description of someone in this love story. Okay. Someone is definitely muscle bound. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm hmm. That's too many cards. Ooh. Okay. I know um, who's our famous Sages. We got Jay-Z. If you know any other famous Sages, please put it in the comments. I could just think of Jay-Z right now. He's a famous Sage. And I do have um, godchildren who are Sagittarians. My fire sign. Okay, they did. Let me see if they. Oh yes, they give you some. They gave you some signs. 
to keep your eyes open for. Okay. Okay, there's this thing that's coming up about drugs again, okay? Um, I know in most parts they have legalized mar mar marijuana or they're in the process of legalizing marijuana, okay? But that does not mean <laughs> that you can smoke it nonstop and it not have any effect on you, okay? Spirit is saying there's something to do with some kind of drug, something that's excessive, um, that's going on in your love story, okay? Mm, okay. All right, so we're going to stop there with that because I don't want this reading to be too long. All right, so I told you someone is very muscular. So this person is showing up in your reading. Maybe this is describing you, okay? Um, or maybe this is describing your special person, but someone is muscular. Okay. Um, and there's a chakra blockage. Okay. So, you know, definitely, um, you know, go into my playlist for chakra work. Very easy exercises, only eight minutes. You're just uttering like beige sounds for each of the seven chakras. I know there's more chakras, but this is chakra 101. So we're doing the seven chakras. Okay. And for each, um, um, chakra is a sound. So your root chakra chakra will be lam. Okay. There's ram, vam, yam, ham, om. Okay. And you're going to do that for eight to 10 minutes. Okay. And that's going to help to align your chakras along with you doing like the, um, the mantra work. Okay. Now if you can get your chakras like aligned and attuned. Like if you go to someone who, who, um, who works with chakra alignment, then that's great too. If you want, if you have that money to spend, but you can do it for free at home as well. Okay. Someone walked away too soon. Okay. There was a ghosting. It was rather sudden, you know, so spirit is acknowledging this for some reason, but there's someone that is competing with you. Okay. There is competition. There's competition for you. There's competition for this person. You may be in competition with this person, you know, for this person's heart. Um, you know, things could be up in the air. Maybe that is, um, maybe this person is trying to decide who and where, who they want to be with and where they want to be, okay? Um, now, this person that could be competing with you for this particular person could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but there is earth energy here. The other thing is, is that you could have earth in your, your, um, not your sun, but you could have earth in your moon, your Venus, your rising. Okay. It could be prominent there. The person that you could be dealing with, um, could be an earth sign or have earth energy prominent in their chart. Okay. Um, Sag Leo Aries fire. Okay. We know you're a fire sign. Okay. But there could be another fire sign or someone with big fire energy that is also figuring prominently in your love story. Okay. There is a sex addict or someone with a sexual deviation. Okay. So maybe it's this fire sign that has some kind of, um, you know, sex addiction. Um, I mean, how much sex is too much sex? Okay. Sex is, you know, it's healthy, right? Like, to engage in, it's healthy, but I guess it's in, in the, the, the manner in which you do it, okay? So, you know, maybe you could be an info, an infomaniac, or um, maybe someone could like to have sex with strangers. Um, um, maybe someone could like a menage a trois. Someone could, you know, have all kinds of different fetishes, you know, S&M, that kind of thing. Someone could maybe like watching a lot of porn, okay? Spirit is saying that there is something to do with sex, and but that is, it's, it's extreme. Um, it could be perceived as being extreme and um, it could be disruptive or somehow um, um, figuring prominently or playing a part in your ability to have long-term relationships, okay? I'm a clout chaser and addicted to getting attention. So yeah, there's there's someone who who likes to be with the next one, whoever is like the the up and coming, whoever has like you know 
whoever's shinier, you know, that you, there's that saying, all that glitters is not gold, you know, whoever's shinier, whoever has the, you know, the, the better car, you know, the bigger BBL, whatever it is. I mean, it's, people are into all those things. Okay. And sometimes people can be wooed by all of the, the extra. Okay. Um, and that too, you know, again, someone likes to get a, a lot of attention. So they could be posting, you know, photos, you know, showing their muscles, showing their, 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 um, their behind, their breasts, like, you know, half naked all the time. Okay. And that's people's prerogative, whatever it is, I'm not putting it down, but it's spirit is saying that there's someone who likes a lot of attention. It's almost like they feed off of it. Okay. Um, they need it. And it also, it almost becomes like an addictive, uh, an addiction. Okay. There's a trap that has been set. Okay. So spirit is saying that you got to be careful. You got to be careful, you know, and, and yet again, this, this saying about all the glitters is not gold because you could see something that looks very shiny. <laughs> they could have the biggest BBL, um, the longest, uh, you know, weave, a wig, you know, um, uh, you know, they could be rocking all these like Balenciaga, Gucci, Louis, and <laughs> driving in, you know, a Lambo, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, they could have the biggest house. But what Spirit is saying is that you have to be careful of traps. You got to be careful of the allure because this can pull you into something that you can't handle, <laughs> okay? Or that you thought was great, but really is not. It's poison, Okay. <clears throat> um, spirit is saying yoga, prayer, meditation will benefit you right now. And I, I was saying that in the beginning with the first deck. Okay. So it's, it's definitely important for you guys. I'm hearing to slow down. I'm seeing like a car speeding, um, which could be, you know, people could be driving a car, um, with all this tension, with all this variation, um, and so it could be borderline dangerous. Like it can like predispose you to getting in an accident or having a, you know, some kind of like aneurysm or embolism, whatever it is, some kind of explosion that happens as far as health is concerned, concerned and spirit is saying they want you to slow down. Okay. Smoking too much marijuana. Okay. So someone's smoking too much weed and that's relative. You know what I'm saying? Like spirit is saying, Either you or somebody in this love story is doing too damn much, <laughs> okay? They're smoking too damn much and it is not healthy, okay? I understand like there are medicinal properties for people who are in, um, you know, perpetual pain, okay? But spirit is saying that there is something that's out of attunement, out of alignment. In addition to the chakras, maybe this marijuana could be um, affecting your chakras and your ability to... Um, to realize to, um, uh, it could be affecting your spiritual eye, okay? And your intuition, your ability to sense. Um, and so spirit is saying it's too damn much, okay? But invest in yourself on all, on all levels, okay? Build yourself up, go back to school. If you want to get that, you know, um, surgery or whatever it is, just make sure you're safe. Make sure you're getting, you know, multiple consultations. Build yourself up, build yourself up, you know, go work out you know, just invest in you, all right? There is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There is air here. So air is figuring prominently here. And we know that air and fire, that is an inferno, okay? That is volatile. It's explosive. The chemistry can be magnetic and amazing, okay? Spirit is saying that there is an, um, an air sign. Okay, there's a time frame again. This is a double confirmation on spring, March, April, May. So, did something happen with an air sign in March, April, May, or is something going to happen with an air sign next March, April, May, next spring? It's something with March, April, May, May that happened that was significant. Okay, I'm jealous that you're getting a lot of attention. Okay, so someone does not like the whole someone liking photos and <laughs> someone making comments, you know, people blowing up your phone while you're out, you know, they don't like, they're, they're not comfortable with that. It doesn't sit right, okay? Um, you know, this person may not be committing to you, but they may not want other people to commit to you or you commit to other people, okay? 
Um, it's sort of like someone has their foot in the door and don't want, don't quite want you to close it. Okay. And so they're worried about the attention. Now this could be you feeling this way about someone. Okay. But I'm afraid someone is going to take you away from me. Okay. So this is where some of the worry is happening, where the jealousy is happening. Okay. So, you know, this person may not quite be ready to receive you or to have you in a full-term relationship, but they don't want you to be with someone else because they're afraid that you'll be taken away and they can't, they can't always defer back to you. Okay. Or they can't have what they have with you, with you. Okay. Um, and I'm hearing like someone is on the fence. All right. But childhood trauma affects how this person is in, in this relationship. Okay. So this, some kind of trauma that happened, maybe the absence of a father, absence of a mother or maternal, a nurturing figure in the life, maybe a molestation that took place, abandonment, um, you know, maybe someone was adopted or in foster care, something, some kind of um, event happened in the childhood that is, is causing um, the fa failure to um, attach, um, failure to attach, like a emotional something or a commitment. I mean, someone could be afraid to commit um, because they, uh, there could be fear of loss of that. Um, so something, something either happened significant either this June, July, or August, or something's going to happen next summer. Okay. But the summer also is prominent here. Okay. So let's explore it a little further. This red and white deck is not a joke, not a game. Okay. So the messages are a little, <laughs> a little rough. Okay, we have um, double confirmation here. Ooh, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know this card came out. Yeah, and this is what I was saying. You know, Spirit definitely wants you to be careful. Um, be very careful. And you definitely gonna have to do a cleansing, okay? Let's see. Okay, that's it for this step. All right, so when I said double confirmation, if your ancestors are speaking again, guys, don't take this lightly, <laughs> okay? They're showing up again. So there is something that the ancestors want to help you with, okay? For some of you, I'm hearing that there's a debt that has to be paid. This is what spirit is telling me, okay? Remember, it's general. So not everyone is, the. It, some people may get it. This may be for some people, for everyone or no one. Okay, but your ancestors like the way to your success and love and relationship. So basically what spirit is saying is that you're not going to have great success or long lasting um, fulfilling love if you don't tie in your ancestors, if you don't acknowledge your ancestors because your ancestors are trying to, to help you. Okay, they're trying to guide you. Um, but they want acknowledgement, okay? And so Spirit is saying that it's very important for you to acknowledge them. Remember the candle, the glass of water, bouquet of flowers, okay? You can put down, you know, some food on a crack plate, a chip plate. You can put down a cup of coffee on a chipped cup, okay? Because the ancestors eat off a of chipped plates, um, and bowls and cups. Um, you can, you know, grandpa, you know, James, you know, liked chewing tobacco. You put down chewing tobacco. If, um, if, if, the, if your grandma liked to drink, you know, um, uh, rum and Coke or Pepsi and Coke, uh, Pepsi and, um, Pepsi and, um, 
rum or something like that, you could put down those drinks at your, your ancestor altar, okay? But they definitely want acknowledgement. You can go to your ancestor altar, you know, before you leave the house in the morning, just say some quick prayers after you say the prayers, like peace and progress to the spirit of, or whatever it is, you're gonna knock three times, okay? And they want acknowledgement. Don't let food go bad with your ancestors. Don't let, you know, the water get cloudy. You can change the water periodically. The flowers die, change out the flowers, okay? But your ancestors want acknowledgement. Okay, I never knew love like this before. Yeah, this is deep. Like this, this love is profound and my head is tingling, okay? And it could be a bit much for someone. It could be exciting, but scary at the same time. All right, you're not my type, but I'm attracted to you. Yeah, so, you know, someone could be, you know, really like into this person, okay? And this may not be the typical person that they're into, okay? But, you know, the, the feelings could be long, okay? Um, accidents and injuries, like I said, yeah, because I saw someone like in a car speeding, um, you know, being distracted, you know, driving kind of shaky because they're trying to get somewhere. Okay, spirit is saying that like, you got to be careful because there's there's there there's the potential for accident and accidents and injuries. All right, um, I'm an attention whore and need to be validated by others. Yeah. Okay, so someone needs that attention, okay? They feed off of it. I'm seeing like, if they could dr drink the attention, they would drink it, okay? That is how like, it's almost like they get intoxicated. Um, they get a high from the attention, okay? And spirit is saying like, this this runs deep, all right? Um, if you go back with them, they will hurt you again. So it could be this attention whore that, you know, spirit is warning you about, your ancestors are warning you about, um, you know, and like we all have exes from the past, okay? There's multiple <laughs> exes, all right? So I can't tell you which one that spirit is warning you about. You will have to think about who that person is based on the information that is given to you, okay? Spirit is talking about how the weather, uh, the, the time of year, the season can affect your mood or someone's mood in this love story, okay? So this is significant here. Um, you know, if if the weather affects your mood, try and like book a vacation to a sunny, uh, a vacation to a sunny location. Um, uh, you know, get special lights in your house. You know, do things that are gonna help to keep you upbeat because someone, Spirit is saying that the weather affects, the weather, the time of year, the season affects how people move, okay? Watch your friends around your lover, okay? So what does this mean? This can mean <laughs> that you some, you have some friends that um, basically if they had a moment with your lover, <laughs> they would be having sex with them like in the closet or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you walk away, like it's that type of thing. Or it could be that whoever you're with could be that way too. Like they could be kind of flirting with one of your girlfriends or one of your boyfriends, one of your friends or whatever. And that could put you in like a precarious situation. So spirit is saying it's something about either your friends or the lover, someone that you're with <laughs> that someone can't be trusted for whatever reason. It may not be flirting. It could be like someone like planting a seed, like um, you better watch her you know, or making comments to kind of um, imply that someone is not to be trusted. Something like that is going on, okay? Um, but you are my fantasy. You are my fantasy, okay? So you could have a fantastical, um, you know, relationship or rendezvous with whoever you're with, okay? And Spirit is saying it is amazing. It's amazing, okay? Okay. Um, Spirit is wanting you to um, do a spiritual bath to cut some negative energy, okay? So the spirit is saying Ruda, Ruda bath, but, you know, I also put a, a warning or disclaimer about Ruda. So if you think you're pregnant or if you are pregnant, do not use Ruda, okay? You can use Quita um, Maldición or you can do Frompe uh, Saragüe to... Um, to have the same effect, to cut negative energy, okay? Um, and so spirit is saying that there's negative energy that has to be cut. So I would suggest you make that bath, you know, you get the herbs, if it's dried herbs, you boil them down, let it simmer, let it cool down, pull out the leaves and stems, 
stir with your left hand once it's cooled down and say prayers to cut negative energy, to, you know, break all spells, curses, hexes that have been worked against you, shatter all the evil eyes that look upon you. Um, okay. And you say the prayers for what you want to, what you're trying to break off. All right. And then you're going to go into the bath and you're going to put this, dump this from your neck down. You don't put this over your head. Okay. You could do this for three days. I'm seeing three days would be good, okay? And then you can do your white bath for upliftment, for purification, for, you know, opening up your spiritual channels, um, opening up your spiritual life, all right? And again, reinvent yourself, like change up your hairstyle, change up your wardrobe, change the color you wear. So if you wear black, like 363 days of the year, wear white, <laughs> wear another color, change things up. And I know there's, uh, you know, more days in the year than that, but I just was saying, okay, I got someone pregnant and that's why I left, okay? So maybe there was a sudden ghosting because someone could have gotten someone pregnant. Um, maybe it was a false alarm, but they got nervous and, or maybe they were dealing with this person and they didn't quite know how to tell you, but there was something to do with a pregnancy as to whether they had that pregnancy full term or whether it was a miscarriage or whether it was, you know, um, terminated that we have yet to see, okay? But I love making love to you. I love making love to you, okay? Um, so yeah, it's it's hot like fire, <laughs> okay? It's hot like fire. Um, but three is a crowd and heartbreak, yep. So we knew that. You, that heartbreak card, that's the second card, okay? So we knew that there was, there was a side boo thing, a mistress, a mister, someone on the side that kind of threw a wrench in the program, okay? And toxic X tries to block and prevent this connection, okay? So, you know, it, you know, if you're having, there's no card that shows up with Brujeria Witchcraft, which is amazing <laughs> because it has occurred in a lot of readings. Um, so maybe that kind of Brujeria Witchcraft has subsided if it has come up in previous readings for you. Um, but nevertheless, there's still a toxic X that could be trying to still you know, throw things and make things difficult, okay? And deter forward movement, okay? Let's take the Sibylla deck. Okay. All right. So someone is like, um, you know, someone is in, I hear despair. Um, you know, they're, they're asking God for help and assistance. They're looking for the divine to give them a sign to help guide them. Okay. There is something maybe there could be a uh could it, maybe you could have experienced some kind of tragedy or some kind of tragic moment maybe someone could be asking like why god why did this happen or help me out i don't know what to do i don't know where to turn i need your guidance okay you know this is what i'm seeing from this card all right and so uh, the card right after that is priest okay so some of you who could be watching this could be priests in your own right, okay? You could be, uh, you know, spiritual figures um, in your, your um, community, okay? Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, someone may need to go to church. So you may need to go to visit the church, light a candle. I know in the Catholic church, they allow you to light a candle, you know, to say prayers, say prayers for your loved one. Spirit is also saying that you may have to read the Psalms, you know, a spiritual text for guidance and support, okay? Uh, you know, Spirit is saying that this could um, give you comfort, okay? This could um, help to comfort you um, at this time, all right? And Scholar, so Scholar is yet again talking about, you know, research and studying um, and looking into things and, and taking time to ponder, 
you know, as opposed to running, 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 you know, spirit could be saying like, slow down, like research, investigate, you know, um, possibly go back to school, you know, um, so that you can move up. Um, I'm hearing like someone needs to do this to move into a more authoritative um, role, you know, or maybe a, um, a supervisory role, directorship, something like that, okay? Um, you have the journey card. So Spirit is saying that there's going to be a journey starting. If it hasn't already started, there's going to be the beginning of something. The beginnings of something are about to happen. So, you know, Spirit is preparing you, all right? You have the merchant card. So this talks about, you know, someone's business, um, but this came to the side. So someone's business could be a little, a little shaky right now. Um, you know, if there are people who are watching this who are hustlers, you know, you know what I mean by hustlers. If you're a hustler, you know, spirit is saying that your, your business could be a little um, shaky right now. All right. And spirit is saying through prayer and meditation, you know, you're going to start to um, um, gain momentum again as far as like your wealth and abundance. All right. You do um, have the soldier card that came out, um, but it came reversed. So, you know, spirit could be saying that there could be someone that, you know, um, had a military career that could be crossing over into the ancestor realm. Um, maybe that there was someone that was, uh, you know, killed by gun violence, okay, who's watching this and spirit is saying that they're showing up, this particular person, and that they're acknowledging, you know, that you're watching this, okay? Um, yeah, okay. Um, you got the faithfulness card, which came to the side. So, you know, I don't think someone is being too faithful. <laughs> All right. There, there is someone who stepped out or who is stepping out. Okay. And th those, there were some cards in the beginning that implied that. All right. And then you have baby to the side. Okay. So there could be a pregnancy. Maybe someone could be up in the air as to whether they want to keep this child or not. Maybe someone had a miscarriage. Maybe someone terminated the pregnancy. Okay, it came to the side. There could be some kind of challenge with childbirth, possibly. Um, okay, and so, yeah, that came up. So let's see um, the kipper. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that deck there. The first card that came out is Coffin. Okay. So someone could be crossing over, like I said. Someone could have crossed over. It could have been a mature woman that could, could have crossed over and she's making herself be known. Um, maybe it could have been a mother figure, a grandparent, someone that was close to you. And so she could be announcing herself in this reading, letting you know that she's here. Um, it could be that this crossing over did not yet happen. The crossing over could involve that person who has a military career. Um, it could involve this woman, uh, you know, a woman, an older woman that could be crossing over into the ancestor realm. You got, um, you know, you got two cards. Um, you got expectation, uh, which is someone waiting for something. Someone is awaiting the arrival of something. They're anticipating something, okay? Um, and then you have the main female, all right? So this main female, you know, she's holding a flower. She could be, um, you know, waiting for this love. It could be a, a divine feminine that is waiting for love, anticipating love, wondering where love is. And your ancestors are saying that they want to, you know, step in um, and, and help you. Okay. That's too many cards. You know, Spirit is saying you got to watch who you trust, okay? You got to watch who you trust. You got to watch who you tell your business to, okay? And the people that Spirit is saying you got to watch, these could be people that you least expect, okay? All 
Okay. So the first card you got is the wolf. Beware of who you trust. Okay. So, yeah, you got to definitely watch your back. It could be like that wolf in sheep's clothing where people always want to help you. Are you okay? You need this. You need that. They always want to know what's going on with you, but they don't really reveal much. You know, you got to be careful with these people, okay? For some of you, you could have the wolf as a totem, okay, an animal totem. Um, you have the serpent. Again, there's a snake. There's, some, there's a snake. There's someone in the midst that should not be trusted, okay? Um, a sly and subtle approach is needed, okay? Um, and this came reverse. So you may have to be a little more assertive and direct with kind of cleaning house as far as the people who, you know, are not serving you for your highest good, okay? You have the chimera, imagination clouds your judgment, okay? So spirit is saying, you know, you definitely need to, um, to to focus more, you know, to do that chakra alignment, to do those mantras, those meditations, the white bath, you know, wearing white, you know, wear white on your head, you know, stay clear because spirit is saying that sometimes, you know, you may, I don't know if I want to say like fantasize, romanticize, like get caught up and what things could be, and it could take you off of the path that you're supposed to be on, okay? You have water, um, so there could be some water sign, a water sign that figures prominently here, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but emotions are at their peak, okay? And this came to the side, so this could be that, you know, someone's emotions could be, you know, waning. They could be a little extreme, um, okay? So let's see, let's do, I'm gonna do my, um, my 95 South deck, which is kind of my, is my ode to the 80s. And, you know, 80s fashion and music is coming back now. Um, so it's going to be on, you know, these are um, cards based on music, books. No, it's too many. I'm going to take this one that flips. I don't like how those cards came out. Okay, here we go. I felt like there was another card that flipped. I don't know where it is. Okay. All right. So these are the cards that came out. It says, girl, have several seats. <laughs> don't have one seat. Don't have two. Have several. Okay. Whether you're a man or a woman watching this, spirit is saying, you need to sit down for a minute. Okay. Doing too damn much. Spirit is saying you need to quiet yourself. I'm feeling like someone's nerves could be bad. You know, like uh, I'm feeling like someone as they're moving, as they're moving around, like they're a little shaky, like, you know, tense, uptight, like just like, you know, someone, someone's nerves, someone has to calm their nerves, okay? And maybe that's why someone is smoking too much weed because they know they have nerve challenges, okay? But someone is cold as ice. So someone, maybe that's you, you could be cold as ice, all right? You know, but someone is cold as ice here. Cause someone could have cut somebody off. You know, they could like kind of flip <laughs> on people. You could be very loving. Um, but at the same time, you could be cold as ice. That could be you or that could be someone that you're dealing with, okay? Tell me who you love and I'll tell you who you are. So spirit is saying like, you may need to like um, do kind of like a, a self-assessment, you know, um, and kind of evaluate like, okay, <laughs> Why do I love this person? What attracted me to this person? What exactly do we have in common? Okay, spirit is wanting you to do um, a self-assessment, okay? Um, 
<clears throat> and, and, you know, a lot can be said about the people that you date or that you're with, all right? Um, but not about them, but can be said about you, okay? Betty Davis Eyes, okay? This was a song back in the 80s by Kim Carnes. It says, roll you like you were dice. She'll expose you, okay? So what does this song mean? This means that someone you know, has a way to manipulate people. Someone could be very attractive, you know, they can get their way, maybe using their body, their sex, you know, their sexuality, whatever it is. Someone can be easily manipulated, okay? They could be manipulated out of money, out of sex, out of, you know, material things. Spirit is saying that there's someone that has a way, <laughs> a way with people. Okay, and, and spirit is acknowledging this, okay? Um, he's about as useless as a screen door on a submarine, okay? This is a saying in the South, all right? So it could be a she too, okay? But what spirit is saying is like, what is this person good for? <laughs> what are they going good for other than, you know, having sex, okay? Spirit is saying like, what, what can they do? Can they fix a pipe <laughs> and not your pipes? Can they, you know, um, I don't know, lay some floor down? Can they cook? <laughs> Can they do something? Okay, Spirit is saying like, okay, this person, I don't know. I don't know about this person. And let's get physical, okay? This was by Olivia Newton-John back in the 80s. There's nothing left to talk about, just horizontal, okay? So it could be like the, the physical attraction, chemical attraction is amazing, Sex is, is, will have you climb in the walls, okay? There is definitely, you know, someone could have gone out to dinner and then from dinner it was on and popping, okay? That was all she wrote, all right? But Spirit is saying that the chemistry, the physical attraction is crazy, which possibly could lead to fatal attraction, all right? Which was the card after that. Um, and Fatal Attraction was a movie that was really hot in the 80s, um, I think with Michael Douglas and Glenn Close, Okay, and it was like a one night thing. Well, Michael Douglas's character, it was supposed to be one night, okay? And um, apparently the woman he slept with, she got pregnant. Um, and, you know, I'm not gonna tell you the whole story. You gotta watch it. It is, it is a classic, okay? So someone's gotta be careful of someone, you know, stalking them. You gotta be very careful. <laughs> um, Someone could be stalking you, you could be stalking someone, but there's a potential for a fatal attraction to um, to manifest, okay? And then spirit is saying, hush your mouth, all right? So that's the saying in the South, South meaning like you're talking too damn much or, you know, uh, you may be a little disrespectful, okay? But I think what spirit is trying to say is that you may be revealing too much. Don't talk your business, you know, just be about your business. Don't talk about it, Okay especially until your plans manifest. Um, keep that under wraps. Um, there's another set of cards that I do. I'm not doing classic tarot in here. I am doing, oh, I have the people deck here. So let's go into some detail as to who and what's involved. Ooh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you in a minute. I know you guys are like in suspense like what is she saying? What cards are coming out? I'm going to tell you. I promise. I don't like how those cards came out, but they came out. So let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's it with this card, this deck. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. 
So the first card that came out from my people deck, it describes people in a little more detail than your typical reading, tarot reading, okay? Spirit is saying that someone is crazy and dangerous. So yeah, y'all got to watch it. And that is why that fatal attraction card came out earlier. Okay, then maybe this is a crazy ex or an ex of an ex, a side chick, a side guy, somebody a little cray cray. All right. You got the male card that came out after that. So it could be a male that could be a bit dangerous. So for my people who are dealing with a male, maybe on dating sites or, you know, someone around the job or someone, there's someone that you got to watch. There is a doer of black magic. Okay. So, and my head is tingling. So this did, card didn't show up earlier, but it's showing up. So someone did some work and my head is really tingling. So if you've had like, you know, um, <clears throat> some tragedy, some accidents, some injuries, falls, some kind of crazy shit that's been going on, Spirit is saying like, there's some black, there's black magic here. Okay, and when I get that card, it's not no light work. Okay, it is, it's heavy. All right, now there's something to do with a store. So someone could have gone to um, a botanica, you know, some kind of shop to have a, something done, have, to have something placed on someone. Okay, that's a possibility. But there is a business owner Okay, maybe this, there's a business owner, <clears throat> maybe not involved with the black magic, but like someone who owns a store that figures prominently in your reading. Someone has short hair, okay, that's above the shoulders. Um, and then you have baby and our pregnancy, again. So this is the second baby card, or third baby card actually that came out. Um, so someone, maybe there's a secret love child here somewhere. I'm not going to say maybe there is, there's some, there's some baby or some pregnancy somewhere. If it hasn't already happened, soon come. Okay. And then something about the mother and there's a grandmother. Okay. So, you know, it did talk about someone who was crossing over earlier in the reading. Maybe it was a mother just that crossed over or a grandmother. Um, or if these people are deceased for you, it could be that they're showing up as the ancestors that want acknowledgement with the candlelight, the white candle, the glass of water, and the bouquet of flowers, okay? Also, if you have a picture of them, put it up at your ancestor shrine. Just cut out all the living people out of that picture, okay? And then there's a side guy. So someone could have some guy on the side Okay, and there's something to do with a gambler. So maybe this particular side person or someone in your love story likes to gamble. They like to bet. Okay, maybe, you know, going to like casinos or gambling halls or like dice. If someone is betting money, someone likes to take risks, okay, on doing something. Okay, Guys, this has been your reading for August 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. If you like what I'm doing, please like my video. Definitely share and certainly subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D 999 at gmail.com. Ciao.